Hello, and thank you for taking the time to view this video. We wanted to try a new approach to sharing important information regarding O'Neill's 24-7 learning initiative for this school year, and so we appreciate all parents and students taking the time to watch this video in its entirety prior to checking out your laptop for this school year. When you are finished, be sure to click on the link below for the short quiz to verify that you and at least one parent have viewed the video completely. Can you believe that we are in our seventh year of 24-7 learning at OHS? We are on year three of a four-year lease with the current MacBook computers. If you were an OHS student last year, you will be checking out your same laptop as you have used in the past. However, you will notice some major changes for this school year. But first, let's do a quick review of the things that have not changed and are still very important to the success of our program for all. Laptops are issued to every full-time 7th through 12th grade student at OHS for 24-7 access for the duration of the school year and are to be used for educational use only while during school. Our program has several important goals, all focused on students' academic achievement and lifelong success. You can read more about the thinking and history of the learning initiative at O'NeillHighSchool.org and then by clicking on the button for 24-7 learning. During school hours, the laptops should be used only for classwork, studying, communicating with teachers and students about schoolwork, writing, reading, researching, etc. When you take your laptop home at night, it will still be your responsibility to abide by district policies, and you will still be filtered, but you will have the ability to use it for some personal use then. Parents still have authority as to how the computer is used at home, and teachers have the ability to make individual rules based on their classroom. At all times, whether at home or school, your computer is taking screenshots of your use and saving them to the server so that the school can always see how you have used your laptop and can deal with infractions accordingly. Most disciplinary issues that arise are dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis, but the school certainly reserves the right to restrict your computer usage temporarily or for the entire school year. They can require you to keep the laptop at school only or whitelist your computer which blocks all internet usage other than school approved sites. These are just a few common options. The most frequent issues that will be dealt with include gaming and shopping during the school day instead of studying. Also, any inappropriate digital citizenship issues whether on Facebook or any personal social networks, will be dealt with if it impacts students or teachers at OHS. This year, you will be able to check out your MacBook after dismissal on the first day of school. Remember to bring your signed forms that you received in the mail, along with your laptop user's fee, $25 for the first child, $15 for the second, and $10 for the third child in any family. When you first turn on your laptop, it will appear as if it is a brand new Mac and will take you through a series of welcome screens. Choose United States and U.S. keyboard and then enter the Wi-Fi password for the O'Neill New Network. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You will most likely not want to transfer information from another Mac and so choose Not Now on this screen. You may enable location services and enter your Apple ID if you have one and want to use this laptop to access your iTunes store purchases. If not, just skip this step. You can always add it later. Agree to the conditions. If you have any other devices that use your Apple ID, you may want to set up iCloud, but again, you can skip this if you would like. iChat is now called Messages on your Mac. Check the box for Find My Mac, and you are now ready to create your user account. Please use your real full name at the Account Setup screen. You can choose any password you wish for your MacBook, so choose carefully and figure out a safe way to remember it. The old server will still use your login credentials of full name and pass, like last year but our new server allows you to choose this login information on your own. You may still hear us refer to old server and new server during the school year. Select the central time zone and you can skip the registration screen. 
you will now see this screen and you may need to be patient as your Mac checks in with the new server and what is called the digital learning environment. Base software will be installed and your login credentials will be saved along with your computer's inventory information on our new server. After your laptop tells you to reboot, you will see a welcome screen that looks like this. Each time you use your MacBook, you are agreeing to the terms and conditions of the digital learning environment, including the AUP and the 24-7 learning rules. And it should be a good reminder that the computer is definitely school property and inappropriate use will not be tolerated. One of the biggest changes for this school year is the ability to download school-approved software and updates in a simple, anytime, anywhere fashion. To do this, you will go to your Applications folder and find Self-Service. You will notice that not all of the software you are used to will be on your Mac out of the box. Anything that is available for you in Self-Service, you should download to your machine as needed and sometimes updates will occur in the background without you even knowing it. If your teacher asks you to come to class prepared with a certain piece of software, make sure that you go into self-service ahead of time and download the application. You can do this at home or at school. Another big change this year is that we will no longer have the ability to sync our documents folders to the server. Every student is 100% responsible for their own backup of all files and folders. You should consider using one of the following options for storage and backup of any school or personal data. Consider a free cloud storage service such as Google Drive or Dropbox. Maybe buy a personal USB drive. They can hold various sizes of information and backup the files of your choice. Or, purchase a personal external hard drive, and you can use Time Machine software, which is built into the Mac, to back up your entire laptop. If you would like additional information on the options for saving your files, photos, music, and media, please ask. We are also excited to announce that we are switching from Angel to Blackboard during this school year. More information on this will be provided during school. But some of the improvements that we are most excited about include the ability for parents to log in to a student's classes, better integration with mobile devices, and improved technical support. Using a school-issued laptop 24-7 as a high school student is an exciting opportunity, and yet it comes with added responsibility. To avoid damage and breakage, every student is required to carry their MacBook in the blue school issued case at all times. Strap it in, zip it up, and do not stuff the case full of additional stuff that could add unneeded pressure on the laptop. This is not to be used as your book bag. Never leave your laptop laying somewhere where it could get stepped on or hit by something else. It may sound obvious, but the majority of the damages to laptops that we see come from small accidents and could be avoided with a little more care. If you do cause damage to your laptop during the time it is checked out to you, this is the expected procedure. Alert Mrs. Morrow, myself, or Mr. Bowler immediately after you notice the damage. If your MacBook needs to be sent in for repair, we will get you a loaner computer ready. But remember that it will not sync your documents like it has in the past. Common damages include dented corners, cracked screens, and liquid spills. If the damage is your responsibility, it typically costs you $75 for the first accident and $200 for the next. If the damage is intentional, you will be responsible for the entire repair cost. Total computer replacement cost is nearly $1,000. You are expected to check in your MacBook in May in exactly the same condition that it was issued to you. Missing keys, shoulder straps, or missing luggage tags will all result in additional fines that you will need to pay at that time. Power cords carry a replacement cost of $50, which you will be responsible for if you do lose yours. And so, in conclusion, welcome to another exciting year of 24-7 learning at O'Neill Public School. If you have any questions or concerns of any kind, 
Be sure to visit the 24-7 homepage that's linked in the sidebar of the O'NeillHighSchool.org site. Or you can always email or iChat me at MrsMorrow at me.com. Every year is an adventure, and each year's journey seems to top the last. Let's make this one no exception. Together we can accomplish more than we ever dreamed possible. Thank you.